Hey, what's up guys? This is Prathamesh Patil from Team OCF. Today, we'll be looking at a cooler from Cooler Master. It's the V8 GTS, their top-end high-performance air cooler. So, the V8 GTS is designed basically for the overclockers and the gamers. This cooler looks pretty well and really shines if you have a side panel to show off your rig. So it has red LEDs in it. So this cooler has two 120mm fans sandwiched between three towers. Uh, it has eight heat pipes for maximum heat dissipation and they are using the vapor chamber technology the horizontal vapor chamber technology in this cooler which I'll be explaining you in the conclusion part so what I'm going to do now is I will be showing you a closer look at the cooler itself so guys this is the closer look at the cooler masters V8 GTS it has three towers of which the end two towers have got two heat pipes each and the other remaining goes to the center tower so these are the two jet flow fans from Cooler Master which are sandwiched between the two towers actually sandwiched between the three towers anyways so these are actually PWM fans you might be wondering what the center one goes to the center one actually goes to the LEDs so the LEDs light up red and it looks cool so what I'm going to do now is to show you a closer look at the heat sink I'm going to remove these two fans and show you the look at the tower itself so guys this is the Cooler Masters Jetflow PWM fan which spins at 1600 rpm at the max from the lower rpm of 600 so you could control that using the duty mode in the BIOS as per your requirement but to be honest these fans are not that good when spinned at lower rpms so I would rather keep them running off uh, to the full speed now the fans are a bit louder so I would rather uh, not pay attention much to the noise because they don't hurt you as much so it's kind of okay so yeah this is the PWM fan uh, which has this connector for the LEDs which glow in over here and the here so there are two three four four LED bulbs which glow and put on the lights on the fans so let's move on to the bracket which secures it over the heat sink like this when you put in the fan it goes like this leave it so look at the heat sink itself the design is really very good the heat the these are the copper heat pipes the copper base nickel plated and it uses the horizontal vapor chamber technology so now you could see the maximum the surface area the more will be the heat dissipation and as the number of heat pipes increase the cooling will be much better the pull down temps will be much better than those of the heat sinks which have less number of heat pipes so I'll be leaving this over here and moving on to the performance results now I'm going to show you the uh, graphs which will tell you the performance of the Cooler Masters V8 GTS versus the comparison with the Noctua's NHD 14 so let's move on there so guys moving on to the performance results now as you could see I have done all the standard testing uh, the FX 8150 was running at 4.2 gigahertz 4.5 gigahertz and 4.7 gigahertz uh, at various voltages uh, and both the coolers were tested at those frequencies and those voltages which you can pause at any time and look at the voltages I'm not gonna read it out but this time you could see an additional test over here which is 4.7 gigahertz with additional voltage a bit of overvolt I'll tell you the reason later in the 
uh, load temperature charts so let's move on to that because the idle temperature doesn't mean anything uh, doesn't mean much you could say so let's move on to the load temperatures so as you could see here the V8 GTS is consistently 2 degrees Celsius behind NHD 14 up to the 4.7 gigahertz mark over here sorry at the 4.7 gigahertz it's just one degree gap but still the V8 GTS ran hotter than NHD 14 so this gap was a bit close and the reason why I did the test at 4.7 GHz with a bit of over voltage was the D14 was actually throttled down. I actually decided to throttle down the D14 to see where it goes because I really was amazed to see the 4.7 GHz test where V8 GTS was just a degree about the NHD 14. So what I did was I went up notch by notch on the voltage side until D14 throttled down. So the D14 throttled down at 1.38 volts at the same frequency 4.7 gigahertz. It was at 79 degrees Celsius and the V8 GTS was at 76 degrees Celsius. So uh, in all we could say the V8 GTS is better than NHD 14 at higher thermal loads yeah so that's the reason I did the test of 4.7 gigahertz with a bit of additional voltage so it's it it must be basically because of the number of heat pipes are more NHD 14 has six heat pipes and the V8 GTS has eight heat pipes so now what I am going to do is moving on to the conclusion I will wrap up everything and tell you in a bit depth about the horizontal vapor chamber and how that technology actually works so guys we are in the conclusion part so now first of all I will give this cooler an 8.5 on 10 the reason being I could have given this cooler a 9 on 10 but the thing is this cooler is a bit expensive and the fans are a bit loud so that's the reason I gave this cooler an 8.5 on 10 otherwise the cooler is solid it works really well at higher thermal loads and this thing is really gigantic looks nice you can show off uh, the rigs if you have a side panel window now sadly I don't have it otherwise I would have shown you but you could go and click the link underneath to the main written review and there I have put up some snapshots and photos of the uh, rig actually I forgot to mention all the testing was done this time in the CM Strong Trooper case which I will be going to reviewing for you afterwards later on so this cooler really looks very much pretty and the red LED lights go really very well matching to my system actually if you have the ROG theme and all so really works well with that but anyways this cooler is really good and regarding the horizontal vapor chamber technology they have used so what basically that does is helps to get the heat from the copper base plate up to the heat pipes as fast as they could so they have actually used the liquid in there that certain kind of a liquid so horizontally what it does is conducts the heat from the various heat spots on the processor so nowadays the processors are really uh, shrinking the die size is shrinking so the Heat, heat spots on the processor are not actually even so they could be anywhere on the processor so that really helps in conducting using the vapor chamber technology which spreads heat evenly on the whole plate and carries away heat as fast as it could to the heat pipes so that the 
heat dissipation is pretty much going on quickly as it could so the maximum number of heat pipes the maximum number of surface area to dissipate the heat and the vapor chamber technology actually helps in getting the temps down as quickly as it could so uh, the pull down temperatures are really good on V8 GTS even if we compare it to the Noctua's NHD 14 so yeah hopefully that everything is covered up now so this is Kula Masters V8 GTS with an 8.5 on 10 from me again so this is a solid heavily recommended not actually heavily recommended I would say it's a recommended one cooler so yeah this is Pratamesh Patil once again from team OCF signing off out